Okay guys, in today's video we're talking about semen retention as well as how to not overcomplicating everything and we are starting right now. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasil. In this video, we are going to go talk about a lot of things, semen retention wise, as well as overcomplication. You ever overcomplicate things and you're like, okay, here's point A, here's point B, but why do I tend to do all of these crazy things when I could literally just go on a straight line? But before we actually go over this, I just want to remind you that we have a couple spots left for this week's free workshop where we're teaching people to turn their passions into an online business. With that being said, I want to talk about this concept of why, as men or women, if you tend to watch these videos too. Why do we overcomplicate everything? It's like here is point A, here's point B. Here is where we are right now. Here's an attractive girl that we want to talk to. Here is where we are right now. Here is a business that we want to start. How come when we see something that it is that we want, we overcomplicate and we overthink everything? You know, I find this over and over again in all aspects of my life, right? Like the first time was when I wanted to get into fitness, right? And, and I remember I, I wanted to get into fitness because I wanted to become more confident. Why did I want to become more confident? Because I wanted to attract women. Because at that time in my life, I wasn't really getting anything or any feedback or any positive thing from like women. They wouldn't even notice who I was, right? I was a skinny little kid that looked like if like Michael Jackson and you know Jackie Chan had a baby. I looked like the kid from the Goonies. It was just really weird looking like that my entire life and not knowing exactly how to actually step into my masculinity, right? And I remember I was like, I wanna get good at lifting weights. But before I got into lifting weights, I wanted to read everything. I was like, you know, I'm gonna read all of these blog articles. I'm gonna watch all of these videos. I'm gonna like take notes on all of these things. And before I knew it, I started overthinking exactly what I needed to do to just go to the gym and get bigger, get stronger, get a better physique, get more aesthetic. And because of that, when I started overthinking, guess what happened? I started uh, giving myself excuses, oh, I'm so skinny, or they're gonna make fun of me, and why would anyone, like, like everyone's gonna make fun of me for being a skinny kid at the gym, I don't wanna do it, I'm gonna get judged, you know what, I'm just gonna give up. And before I knew it, I started giving up before I actually got started, and that was just the first instance. The second instance is, for example, attraction with women. You see a beautiful girl that you are so attracted to. You see her hair, you see her eyes. She's one of the most beautiful women in your entire world. You see her going by, you're thinking you're gonna go and say hi to her. As you go by, you're walking up to her, and as you're about to say hi, you pretend to check your phone and you just kind of like totally flinch and don't even say hi. <laughs> How many of you guys have ever had that experience? You see an attractive girl, She's coming towards you, you're going towards her, you're gonna say something, but right when you are about to, you're like, oh, just checking for the Wi-Fi, oh yeah, mom, da, 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 da. and you totally abort. You're like, oh my God, she's too attractive, abort, abort, abort. <laughs> you just do whatever it takes to just not be in that uncomfortable situation. I find that over and over and over again. You know, every single time I see a girl that's disgustingly beautiful and I'm like, how is she, how, how did God make such a beautiful woman? Like, it doesn't even seem fair, right? Like, how is this person like an actual human being when she literally looks like an angel and she smells like heaven or whatever? And when, when I see that, and I'm already kind of like thinking that, I'm already starting to overthink, well, uh, a girl like that, she probably wouldn't like a guy like me. Oh, a girl like that, she probably has a boyfriend. Oh, a girl like that, she's probably married. Oh, a girl like that, she probably wouldn't even see me. Oh, a girl like that, she'll probably throw water in my face or ice cubes in my face if I say hi. And out of nowhere, you just start overthinking and overanalyzing and being super analytical. And then before you know it, you're like, you know what? I'm not even gonna get started. Oh, I didn't feel any negativity. I didn't fail because I never actually tried. And last but not least, because this is a big thing, you know, we talk about it this all the time, but business, right? What are the things that motivate us in our life? We want to get laid, we want to get paid, we want to look sexy naked. Ultimately and selfishly, that's what we want as men the most. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You, watching this video right now, you want to get laid, you want to get paid, you want to look sexy naked. That's really essentially what we want out of life. Men, we're very simple. We're very simple. We don't have to overcomplicate things, right? But when it comes to business, how can we might have an idea? Like, oh my God, I'm gonna make money online. I watched Mike Vasile's first channel and I figured out the way to make money online. I signed up for his free workshop and I figured out, oh wow, it's actually easy, I don't have to overcomplicate things and I can actually make money doing what it is that I love. And then before you know it, a day happens. 
Three days happen, you haven't taken action. Four days happen, you haven't taken action yet. And before you know it, it's been a year and you still haven't started that online business idea. Why? Because you've overthought it and you overthunk it, if that's even a freaking word. This happened to me over and over again. When I had, when, when, like back in the day when I first started like a new idea, I had a very, very, very bad habit of consuming way too much books and materials and videos and courses before actually going and taking action. Like I remember when I was uh, gonna create like an e-commerce store, right? And it was like one of my first businesses and I was like, you know what, before I actually go out there and create an e-commerce store, I'm gonna read the entire software manual. I'm gonna get all of these books from eBay. I'm gonna, you know, go to these courses. I even went to like events to learning how to set up like a, an e-commerce store, right? And before I knew it, I thought I had all of these knowledge that I hoarded and it took me months to learn. And then I had to go actually create the website. And when I went ahead and created it, I realized that I still didn't understand anything. And that's because I overthought everything. I was learning how to really build this business on year five, six, and seven when I didn't even figure out how to start this business on year one. I was thinking of all the ways of what I should do if this should happen or that happened or which theme I should pick or advertising or Google ads when I didn't even know how to actually launch my store. And I started realizing I wasted time because I overcomplicated things that didn't really actually matter. And what really changed in all of the other ways, and I committed to myself that I was never gonna do that ever again in all of the previous businesses, is I was gonna maybe learn for five minutes, maybe read a book, maybe you know, watch a video course, maybe invest in myself, go to an event. But for every five minutes that I would learn and consume, I would spend 50 minutes in pure application. Because I know if I overly consume and I watch too many videos, and you probably experience this all the time when you're just like binge watching all of these NoFap and semen retention videos or maybe make money online videos, you get overwhelmed with too much information. But information hoarded isn't information well spent. Information that you just remember is not gonna do anything. They say knowledge is power. No, applied knowledge is power. I remember reading this quote when I was in college and it, it, it stuck to me to this day. If you don't marry an action with an idea within five minutes, it's dead forever. I can't tell you how many domains I have of like having an idea and I was like, oh man, I need at least the first step. I need to buy this domain name just so that I can at least put my one step forward into this business idea. Are there a lot of domain names that I haven't used because like I, I didn't follow through with them? Yes. but. That action of having that speed of implementation when I have an idea and a thought and putting it into action reality was one thing that kind of turned off my thinking mind. And I started realizing the more I get into a state of action, do I get into a state of flow? Do I get into a state of better results in my life? And this, in essence, is the secret of why semen retention and overthinking go hand in hand. Because if you really think about it, if you could really retain your seed and not ejaculate, you could control your body. You could control your mind and your mind controls your body and your actions and your emotions and then you could get whatever the hell that is you want, right? We talk about this all the time. When it comes to overthinking, if you could control the fact that you don't wanna ejaculate, you could probably control the fact that you're overthinking as well. And maybe to think less and to do more. So how does this play, for example, into fitness? Of course, like read your books, you don't wanna injure yourself, but imagine just like going to the gym with somebody that's smarter than you and then spending all of your time failing at all of the weights and exercises that you're not comfortable with. Stop thinking about it, just go out and do it. Your friend or your mentor, or your fitness friend that's a little bit more advanced than you, he's gonna tell you the ropes. Because you could read all you want on the perfect form, you could watch all those videos, but until you experience it yourself and someone is there to kind of like tell you and give you feedback where you're going wrong, you're not gonna know how to freaking do a dumbbell press. Same thing with dating. You see someone that's super attractive, your feet should run to her faster than your mind could actually think. Because the moment your mind thinks, we are very analytical creatures. We will analyze all the things that we, that we think could go wrong and then we'll start thinking that that already happened and we've already kind of like shot ourselves in the foot on that. And when it comes to business, God forbid you never want to overthink. If it's an idea that resonates with you that you feel good, odds are in a day or two days or five days when you let your old mind kind of like get the best of you, the mind based off of your friend's thinking or your parents' thinking or your family's thinking, your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife's thinking, what's going to happen is that vision that you had, you're going to start overthinking things and you're not going to do it. 
Which is why the enemy of results in life is overthinking. But if you apply semen retention and you control your mind, and then you apply that with the actions that you want, with the results that you want in health, wealth, love, and happiness, then you could go out there and get what you want. But the problem with you is you have to learn how to think less and do more. Does that make sense? You need to learn how to think less and do more. And if you could do that, then you could get whatever the hell that it is that you want in life. So guys, hope this helps. Let me know your thoughts right here in the comments below on what are you currently going through overthinking wise, as well as don't forget to join this week's free workshop where we teach people how to turn their passions into an online business, doing what they love, making their first 5k online. If you're new, make sure you check this video out or maybe you check out this playlist as well, as well as subscribing right here. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.